the Destiny 2 commendation system needs work. What's up, you nerds? My name is Fallout, and today I'd like to take a minute to explain why I think the commendation system in D2 at its core is actually a great idea. But the current system, it ain't it mainly because tying it to things outside of what it was meant to do defeats the entire purpose. Okay, if you're a new D2 player or a longtime returning player who has no idea what I'm on about, don't worry, I will break everything down for you. But real quick, let me tell you about Dragon Raja, the sponsor of today's video. Dragon Raja is a free to play fantasy MMORPG and they've got a major update coming. Get ready for a new club competition event called Cloud Conqueror starting on March 23rd. With the Cloud Conqueror event, clubs will now have the opportunity to compete against each other for honor and glory. The event includes server championship and a cross-server tournament. Different rewards will be given to all members of the club according to the ranking of the club at the end of the server championship. The higher the ranking, the higher the rewards. Clubs ranking top two in the server championship can be qualified for the cross-server tournament. The club that wins in the cross-server tournament not only brings the highest glory to its server, but also gets excellent rewards and unique items like the Medal of Glory, Dynamic Picture Title, Special Club Logo, and so on. On top of that, Dragon Raja is running a global club carnival event that allows players to win a share of a $20,000 prize pool by inviting their friends to come and join them in the game. The event will take place from March 4th to March 31st. The application window, though, is March 4th to March 14th. Head to the official Dragon Raja Discord server for more info on daily login rewards, exclusive prizes, rewards for returning players, and more. Don't wait, hit up my link in the video description to check out Dragon Raja today. All right, back to commendations. Commendations are a new feature that were added in Lightfall. Think of commendations as a Yelp review for your fire team members if you were only allowed to leave positive, wholesome Yelp reviews and there were only 13 options you could pick from. Basically, you load up into an activity, you complete the activity, and in the end game screen, you have the option to dish out commendations to players that you think have earned them. The goal, at least I think the goal, is to get a better idea over time of what each individual D2 player you meet brings to the table, i.e. I go to the tower, I check out any random guardian there, and I'm... Oh God. <clears throat> I go to the tower, check out any random guardian there. There we go. Hit their name and immediately get a better idea of what kind of player they are based on their commendations. Like this guy here is an ally and a leader and so forth. At its core, a great idea, except the system it is tied to is fundamentally flawed to the point where none of this matters at all. Let's go down the checklist. First of all, I'm assuming that in an attempt to make sure that players remember to actually use the new commendation system, they have been tied to in-game rewards, specifically a weekly tier two power Powerful drop from Hawthorne at the tower. I've heard from a good friend who is very number focused that this is actually a pinnacle drop, not a powerful drop as it's currently labeled. But either way, doesn't matter. Tying commendations to in-game rewards is bad. During week one of Lightfall on all three of my characters to make sure I was power leveling efficiently for the raid, I literally was stuffing random commendations into the pockets of other players at the end of any activity like I was Jimmy the Gent. Hey there, Blueberry, thanks for keeping the ice cold. Have a playmaker on me. Anyone who didn't scramble to dish out commendations immediately would be behind on their power grind, so already the system is kinda tainted. Another thing commendations are tied to that probably shouldn't be, Guardian Rank. If you're new, Guardian Rank is supposed to be kind of an overall number that sums up how experienced and worldly a player you are in another shell. Again, in what I'm assuming was a move done to make sure players don't immediately ignore commendations, both giving and receiving them is required in order to level up your guardian rank. Bungie has already gone on the record saying that the amount of commendations required to rank up has been reduced, but not removed, meaning that people are still probably going to dish them out willy nilly, not because your random blueberry popped off in that nightfall, but because you want to play a fun game of make number get bigger and flaunt how big of a baller guardian rank you're rocking. Probably a good thing Bungie lowered that number too because people were literally farming commendations by grouping up in a team and intentionally wiping at the Riven Wall over and over. If I had to wager a guess, maybe not the way I imagined Bungie thought this new system would go over. That farm has since been patched, but again, just goes to show you that the majority of people are going to use commendations as a means to an end instead of what it should be used for. And hey, I'm part of the problem. I used the Riven Wall to get commendations because I want to play a game of 
of make number get bigger. And I wouldn't blame you if you did either. Anyway, because you got to dish out commendations to both get powerful gear and to make guardian rank number get bigger, it's always in your best interest to dish out as many post game commendations as you can as quickly as you can. I say quickly because commendations can only be given out at the end of an activity during the post game screen. But the post game screen ain't even that long though. And once the post game screen is over, you can't give out commendations anymore. This has turned giving out fire team commendations into a weird little mini game of beat the clock. Again, you don't want to miss out on improving your guardian rank or getting a free powerful drop and you've only got a few seconds to get those commendations out. So go, go, go. So because you're on the clock and especially during week one when I didn't want to take a chance of ruining my power level grind, I wasn't even looking at the commendations I was giving out after a while. Fun player, sure, whatever. Yeah, and you, you knew how to stand on the capture point in PvP, you knowledgeable, I guess, yada, yada, yada. Here's another weird thing. Why are we sometimes limited in how many commendations we can give out? For example, if I'm playing Gambit, not by choice, but because I want a pinnacle drop, at the end of the game, I'm limited to only giving out two commendations. Why exactly? Isn't the whole point of commendations at its core to give praise to players who have earned it in your eyes? What if, honest to God, you finish a game of Gambit and all three of your teammates are absolute bros? One of them is a god tier invader who went in two times and gets a back to back team wipe. The other guy solo burns down the prime evil. And the third guy was super friendly and chatted you up on the mic about how good you were playing and invited you over to his house for strawberry scones. In theory, all three of those guys were chads in their own right. Why should I have to pick between only two of them to commend? I would probably bet money that the current answer is because commendations are tied to both loot drops and guardian rank number, and we don't want people to dish out too many too fast because that would kind of break the system and that's kind of the problem. Commendations should be solely tied to giving feedback about another player based on how cool they were or how great they were, and that's it. Tying it to anything else even remotely resembling a reward muddles the entire point. But Fallout, that's boring. Yeah, I know, but that's the point, right? Look, if I could be rewarded with a free bag of gummy bears by giving out positive reviews out on Yelp, would you trust any of the reviews I'd given? Hell no, you wouldn't because I've got ulterior motives. I don't care about the feedback I'm giving. I just want my gummy bears. I look at the commendations tied to guardians currently at the tower and take absolute Absolutely none of them to heart and that is a shame. Most of them were probably given in haste for a reason other than wanting to tell a stranger that they were actually cool or talented or good at the game or whatever. I've heard a lot of feedback from people saying they would love to see negative commendations, by the way. Go ahead and file that under things Bungie would never, ever, 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 ever do in a million years. It would have to be really fluffy, sugar-coated language anyway to make sure players wouldn't get overly upset at negative criticism. After all, how would you react if after a game of PVP, someone on your team awarded everyone positively, and then you got the took their super to orbit commendation. Believe me, as much as I would like to award the Titan Blueberry on my team who accidentally shoulder charged me into the wall a f donut commendation, it ain't ever gonna happen, and that is probably for the best. In conclusion, to the folk or folks at Bungie who conceived and put the commendation system together, I genuinely like what we're trying to do out here. Good call. Thumbs up for the idea at its core. I like the thought of being able to look at a guardian and immediately get a vibe for what kind of player they are. But as long as we have a system where we have to hurriedly scramble to give out limited commendations to ensure we either make number get bigger or get powerful rewards, the entire point is lost. I'd really like it if we wiped the entire slate clean and used it only for what it was meant for, actually giving great players the accolades they've earned through gameplay and attitude alone. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. I would love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on stream.